Okay. All right, so we started our Colorado trip Friday the 24th. We left St. Clair about 8 a.m. We are headed across Kansas, going to stay at a spot that evening in Colby, Kansas, uh, at a campground. And we ended up um, calling, and we should have been there probably about 7 o'clock, you know, with stops and stuff. So we are going across Kansas, about halfway across, and all of a sudden we got people w waving us down, saying we lost something. So we pull over. They get out of their car and they say, you lost a tire back there. So we go back and look at it and it's like, oh my gosh. It, it, tires completely gone. Snapped all the uh, lug bolts off. Um, so we unhooked. I drove back. Spent an hour looking for the tire. Could not find it going through weeds a spot where the people said they saw where we lost it um no good while michelle was looking for um a place where i can get a new hub to put on so we found it in manhattan kansas about 16 miles away so we all got in and we left the fifth wheel there locked up alongside the road but we had it pulled pretty far off i mean it was one wheel was on the uh, one side of the wheels were on the uh, shoulder which was a pretty big shoulder and the rest of them were on the other side or on the ground it, and it was fairly level it wasn't bad and we took off and went to manhattan kansas we picked it up um they gave us a seal with it. Fortunately, I know how to fix it and take it apart and fix it and put it back together. And I obviously I got all my tools with me. But we ended up, uh, it was a four hour delay. And so we get on the road and we don't get to the campsite till 11 o'clock at night. So then we get up the next morning and Michelle goes in the bathroom. She goes, come here. And I look, come in there. And our fart fan cover, completely gone. Nothing but the handle that you crank up. And so we find a place in Colorado Springs. We're heading to Colorado Springs. And uh, I also needed a dust cover for the end of the hub. I didn't get one with it. I forgot that part. So we stop at this RV, uh, well, actually, it's trailer source RV place. Had everything we needed. And I climb up on the roof, and our other fart fan in the back is gone, too. So we must have hit some big wind in Kansas that just ripped them off. I can't believe, well, it's hard to, you wouldn't hear it, but it was just terrible. But I spent 40 bucks me and michelle put them in trying to beat the rain it was raining on us at the end when we were done but she was working underneath and i was on top of the roof and we got those put in then we couldn't find any place to stay on saturday and i thought out in the national forest where we're at right now we would be able to find a spot so we drive out here and it's rainy and stuff and we're going up the road it's where i had places i had tons of places we could park and pick it up every single one of them taken just taken so we get to the last spot on the road where i know and i pull in there's a whole group up there in the woods the guy says yeah i think there's some spots down here i'll go check with my four-wheeler he says yeah they're up in here and so he drove us and we he wanted to come us come up here and there's no way if you look at the hill this is this is not good trying to get by that tree right there on the road without it scraping would be bad 
So I just said, what about there where we're at? So you can see we're in a good spot. But uh, yeah, that was a heck of an adventure, this whole trip. Um, oh, I forgot. This is an important thing. So when we were coming up, it, we got to Divide, which is about seven miles past Woodland Park. And Lake George is another, which is where we turn off to come up here, Lake George. It's another 13 miles. So we're at Divide, and my alarm on my TPS system goes off that we're below 80%. So I pull off. There's a big pull off. And I start to walk back to check the tire, and all I hear is psst. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. So that tire had a nail in it. I could see it. And so I drop the trailer again, take the tire off. She calls Walmart. They're already closed, but they said they'll have a mechanic there that'll that'll fix our tire for us. I take it in there. We get the tire fixed, get it back on to get up to here. So, I mean, we lost a wheel. We lost two uh, coverings, and we lost a... Uh, we had a flat and we had no spare because the spare is already on so i i gotta buy a spare this week with another wheel because uh, we never found it found our tire plus it took our tps system which we need to order another tbs system some more uh to put on there um uh, because that was lost on that tire so it's been interesting. So as you can see up here, Madison's got Samson and Madison. or Michelle. Michelle's got Samson and uh, Fluffers walking around. She found a hut that somebody built up here just out of branches and stuff. So that's pretty neat. Actually, I'll take it over the, take it over there and see. I mean, you can see how you could park a ton of R RVs just up in this spot. Like groups come up here and park. And I mean, there was everybody was up here. There were so many people up here uh, when we got up here. But now there's nobody because as soon as it hits uh, Sunday, they all go home. But you can see that's a heck of a hut somebody built here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty neat. <laughs> I think they took some time to build this sucker. But, yeah, it's, it's really quiet up here, and there's absolutely nobody right now. Nobody. Nobody.